Hello, my name is Delon Obarimi Samuel. Today I want to talk to you about how people make decisions. You see, perception is the first function of the conscious mind. And the second function is called association. As you perceive something, you begin to ask yourself the question whether you know it or not. Have I seen anything like this before? You know, what you're doing at that point is that you're bouncing what you were perceiving off your stored reality, associating with information that you have stored. Then, after perceiving and associating, now comes the evaluation of the information you have found. And what is this probably leading me to? That's a question you ask yourself. What is probably going to occur? What does this probably mean? So, at this point, your conclusion such as, oh, this is scary. Oh, this is wonderful. This is terrible. They're all based on the quality of what you have stored in your history. And based on what your evaluation is, you make your decision. And so what you perceive, what you take into your mind, your subconscious really matters. Because eventually when you want to make decisions, it will come to play. It is like, um, you know, what you give to your subconscious is what you get. So our decisions cannot be any better than the information that we have stored. The decision that we are making every day about the businesses we are in, our marriage, our family, the family we're raising, the children we're raising, in fact, our whole life cannot be much more effective than the quality of knowledge or reality that we have stored. This is a very critical truth. All right now take for instance you have experienced some traumatic experience you've had some traumatic experience scary one maybe you've gone through a divorce or maybe you've lost your job you've you know you lost a friend you've made some very bad decisions you see the emotion is stored on in your on your subconscious level now you perceive that getting later involved with somebody in a case of divorce would make you will make a very wonderful, you know, maybe you find someone that you feel is going to make a very wonderful partner. So what do you do next? You associate with your stored information, asking yourself, have I seen anything like this before? And you'll answer yes. And you will begin to feel the emotion that is stored in there. Then you evaluate, what is this probably leading me to? You see, it's important to understand that your thoughts give rise to your feelings. Now, how you feel will determine your actions, and your actions will eventually determine your result. So, depending on the answer you get, the answer you get mostly when you ask yourself that question, what is this probably leading me towards, would be mm, nothing good. So, your decision in this case is not, is not to get married. Not because of the new person, not because the new person is bad, but you are drawing from your past experience. You're drawing from the former person, you know, you're participating with the former person. So you see how, you know, making decisions about our future is often based not upon our potential or what we could do, but upon the past, our experiences. Often on what is scary, fearful things that have happened to us, our children, or maybe the beautiful experiences we've had in the past. And so you must be conscious, you must be careful what thoughts you gather. Okay, as you go on, be sure to make good decisions. Be sure, but understand the fact that decisions you make are not based upon your potential. They're not based upon tomorrow. They're based upon your experiences in the past. You draw from your emotions, what have been stored in your subconscious. You want to make right decisions. You want to have good results. You have to go down to your thoughts. And for you to be able to manage your thoughts effectively, you must control what gets into your thoughts. That's your content providers. Trust me, I'd like you to go on succeeding. All right? So that's my best. That's my wish for you. Go on succeeding. Bye for now.